All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business. Sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Super excited about today's video. From time to time in the past, I've done some videos in the booth of me recording, and I thought this would be pretty cool to do a job. I'm on Fiverr here, and uh, this particular job is uh, for a little under 200 words or so, and it's $175. Um, what we're going to do is I've got the script right here, and we're just going to go through it um, and, you know, Give it, uh, give it a good read. Um, you know, I, I, I think the the key with any of these types of reads, um, because this is a um, uh, German engineering, and uh, you know, let's see, it's got lidar technology. I haven't even had a chance to read through the script yet. Uh, In the future, our vehicles will drive autonomously, and sensors become their eyes. At IBO, we've been following our vision for over 20 years. To build LiDAR sensors, you can trust blindly. Um, all right, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to give a relatable but, you know, serious type of, of read. And uh, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and come over here, start this. Uh, we're going to go through this puppy and see if we can we can make it work. Here's a little tip I always use to make sure that I do this is that, um, you know, I don't use glasses, um, but, you know, whether you use glasses or not, make your make your stuff really big. I like to make my words bigger, you know what I mean, on my screen, just because what happens is, is it allows me to read ahead easier. Uh, and now it does become more difficult if you don't have a wide screen. I mean, like a bigger screen. You know, I'm in my booth, and my booth I have a 27 inch screen that connects to my computer station outside of my booth, my editing station. As you guys see, where I mostly I film. But let's go ahead and give this a shot. Uh, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to, like I said, uh, give a realistic. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, try to be overacting. But at the same time, I want to you know, um, still make sure it's a little bit more serious, uh, but at the same time relatable. So we'll see what we can do. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, let's give it a shot. In the future, our vehicles will drive autonomously and sensors will become their eyes. I think it's sensors become their eyes. I like in sensors will, but and sensors become their eyes at IBO. We've been following our vision for over 20 years to build LiDAR sensors you can trust blindly. To achieve this, we're following the principles of German engineering. Trust is built on precisely engineered and manufactured parts. Trust is gained through constant confirmation by our validation solution, IBO Reference. Trust is won by being realistic as our LiDAR technology Kind of messed that up there. Um, I kind of like where this is going. Say, now I'm gonna. I messed up. So what I do is I do like a modified punch and roll. Whereas when I mess up, I will stop, go back to the beginning of that particular sentence. So trust is won by being realistic. Yeah. So right there, and I'm gonna start from there. Trust is won by being realistic. <coughs> Let's try that again. I don't know what happened there. Trust is won by being realistic, as our LiDAR technology is developed for every vehicle, not just the premium sector. Trust is built on reliable answers to challenging questions. We don't just develop sensors, we also provide our own software and control units. Trust is based on reliability. Therefore, our supply chain management ensures that every component is available when needed. If we buy a car in the future, we will ask the question, can I trust the car sensors in every situation? You will, because we're developing sensors you can trust blindly. IBO, pioneering the future of mobility. Okay, so I think that's a pretty decent read. And uh, what I'm gonna do is as you can see, um, I'm going to now pull up my screen, 
just as if you're new and you haven't seen me record before, I use the Apollo Twin, okay? Um, so I have a console digitally here as well. And I'm also running uh, while, um, in my, my pre-setup an EQ, an equalizer, and a compressor. So you're seeing this already equalized and compressed, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, and I, I know you can't see it, but I'm going to press a button on my keyboard, and that's going to go through a series of uh, presets to clean up my audio. So I'm going to go ahead and press B, and you're going to see it running through this. Now, it should show up the different things that we're doing down here when it finishes. And, you know, the goal that I've tried to... Um, I've tried to get to is, you know, how quickly and efficiently can I produce the, a, the same high quality product? Does that make sense? Um, and so that's, that's my goal constantly. Okay. So as we can see, uh, I just showed the, uh, the effects rag, um, but I'm going to go in here and see if you can see. Yeah. So, so basically what I'm doing here is I've got a mouth to click, mouth to noise, voice to noise, excuse me, dynamic processing, and then a hard limiter. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do there. And I just, I have that tied to a button and I just click that button and it's done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. The only part to this, right, that you cannot do yet that I've found is the breaths. And what I like to do is I like to give like kind of like a nice little room tone. I kind of just reduce that by 16 or so. Uh, DB. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go through and now I'm just going to go and I'm going to paste it. All right. Uh, I'm going to paste it in places uh, that are now if it's smaller, I'm probably just going to come and use my keystone and reduce the volume. But I like to try to keep room tone so it doesn't sound awkward or weird. And a lot of times I see a lot of voice actors using the um, like the silence tab, the silence button to, you know, silence in between things because it's easy because you just press a button and it, it silences it. But the reality is, is you can also create, you know, like what I've done here, right, is I've just copied and pasted. And I, I believe that you also can create, although I have not, you probably could create, you could create something like, for example, you can reduce, like you could probably take a the limiter or take the amplifier something and you could probably make a um you know like a um what's it called a um a key out of it you know like you could make a a preset out of it so all you'd have to do is go through and press a button like you do um with your other one but you're not actually you know making it silent because again silence sounds odd right and it doesn't sound right <laughs> um okay so all i did was i went through and i just took out because I think for this piece I don't want breaths okay some pieces it's very important to have breaths some pieces I don't think you should you know have breaths it just takes away from the the, the um, video that you're watching so let's go ahead and listen back to this in the future our vehicles will drive autonomously and sensors become their eyes at IBO we've been following our vision for over 20 years to build LiDAR sensors you can trust blindly. To achieve this, we're following the principles of German engineering. Trust is built on precisely engineered and manufactured parts. Trust is gained through constant confirmation by our validation solution, IBO Reference. Okay, so I missed uh, two breaths here. And as we're taking a pause, I do want to point out that, you know, with a script like this, right, where we've got trust, 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 you know, you want to do your best to make these sounds somewhat different, right? I mean, you, you know, they all shouldn't sound the same, meaning like it shouldn't start and stop the same, uh, just because that becomes, uh, you know, very mundane and ordinary, right? It should be different. Each one should have, be, have its own thought. Trust is gained through constant confirmation by our validation solution, IBO Reference. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to reduce that because that doesn't sound. By our validation solution, IBO Reference. Sounds better. Trust is won by being realistic as our LiDAR technology is developed for every vehicle. So I think some of these, because I was, I was going through, 
I'm going to reduce the time in between so it doesn't As our LiDAR like chopping. technology is developed for every vehicle, not just the premium sector. Trust is built on reliable answers to challenging questions. We don't just develop sensors, we also provide our own software and control units. Trust is based on reliability. Therefore, our supply chain management ensures that every component is available when needed. So yeah, so I actually like that little gap there. Now notice that this last trust, which was the reliability, as I was reading the script, uh, I, I read ahead as I was reading and I was coming down here and I saw that there was no more trusts. And that triggered in my mind that this was the last one, so this one needed to be more definitive. Does that make sense? Therefore, our supply chain management ensures that every component is available when needed. If we buy a car in the future, we will ask the question, can I trust the car sensors in every situation? So again, I, um, well, not again, I didn't say it, but I wasn't given a video, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I'm just going off of, you know, what I think it could be, but, you know, hopefully they'll take this and, you know, put it to where they need it to be. But I'm, as I'm listening through it, I'm thinking of things that, you know, when I'm hearing the sound and the flow of it, what I think, and that's a, that's another tip for you. You know, you do the best that you can right? Because you might not know what's going on, you know? So that's the, you know, this is a, a great way for you to just work on your field. They could come back to the client and be like, no, that's not what we want. We want X, Y, Z. Well, that's okay. They just didn't tell us that, in which case we charge a revision cost and do it again. But when you're, you know, we're directing ourselves, so we've got to do the best we can. So do what sounds right to you. It might be wrong, but you only, I mean, that's all you have to go off of. If we buy a car in the future, we will ask the question, can I trust the car sensors in every situation? You will. Because we're developing sensors you can trust blindly. IBO. Pioneering the future of mobility. Okay. So um, here's a little something too. You will. Now this... this right makes you want to be like you will <laughs> it makes you really want to go after it but i think that's the danger it doesn't have to be you know what i mean because again the imagery that they they should have should relay that message and in which case the you will needs to just reinforce it not overtake it right um so that's something to you know resist the urge Unless you're given specific information, like specific instructions to be bigger than life, you'll resist the urge to go over the top. Also, here's something else. IBO. Pioneering. So, you know, here's a pop, a uh, plosive. Pop. So all I do is I highlight that. Uh, I come up to effects. I'm going to go to FFT filter. You can do this with anything, really. I mean, and I'm an Adobe Audition, of course, but I basically have mine preset at about 146 hertz, and then I just reduce it. So I do away with all the um, anything below 146 hertz. Uh, hertz, I reduce it, um, and I go ahead and apply that. And what it does is, remember, I don't do away with all of the frequency, right? I just do away with everything that's underneath 148. You'll notice now pioneering the plosive's gone. Uh, it's a real easy way, but whatever you do, you don't want to apply that blindly to the whole piece because that will cause an issue. It'll Everything will sound tinny. But if you just apply it to your pops or your plosives, it takes care of them really simple and very fast. Pioneering the future of mobility. Okay. All right. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here. Um, I'm going to do IBO underscore my name. I'll do 10, today's the 5th, 21. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop to make this easy, I'm gonna save it as a WAV file, 48,000 hertz, 24 bit, uh, save that. All right, I'm gonna come over here, come back over here, um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and deliver order. I'm gonna do this. Just come in here, it's on the desktop, right there. All right, now I'm gonna do a pre-response where it says order delivered. Here's your requested voice service. Upload a high quality wave file for you. Please favorite my gig and let me know if you need more help on this project or any of the future projects. Also, can you take just two seconds to give me a review and answer any surveys? It really means a lot to my business. Thanks again for working with me. 
Uh, remember, you can ask them to leave a review, just not a speci- like not a good review, or you know what I mean. You can't ask them to leave what type of review, but you can ask them to leave a review. All right, and then hit deliver. And there you go. So that is how you uh, make one hundred and seventy-five dollars on Fiverr, <laughs> and and do a video on it in a couple of minutes. <laughs> All right, you guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave some comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And also, if you haven't done so, check out the Academy. We do we do stuff like this and, and teach all kinds of things uh, Monday through Thursday. And we just added a brand new voice acting coach for the UK on uh, UK time. Um, and, uh, so Kat, uh, just, uh, um, Kat, Catherine Sigger is, is just, uh, joined us and super excited about having her. So check out the link below. Okay. Uh, and, uh, talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.